Hey everyone, welcome back to another new exciting video. Guys, I have found another free open source AI coder and its name is Cat Coder. And they are saying that they are giving the Cloud Sonnet 4.5 level of experience for free. And here you see that they have just published a comparison on the SWE bench. And they are saying that this Cat Coder is giving the best performance than the closed source model. We know that GPT-5 or this Cloud Sonnet 4 or this JP925 Gemini 2.5 Pro, these are actually closed source model, but Cat Coder is giving the best performance than this closed source model. And Cat Coder is completely free and open source. Here you see that on this hugging page, you will get the uh, repository link, and also they have published the API key so you can use this in your client or root code. So I will show you in this video the full setup, and also I have tried it on my own prompt. Here you see that uh, I have got this kind of output from them and when I tried the same thing with the Cloud Sonnet 4 and 4.5 both, I got the amazing output from them and the amazing output from this model also. Here you see that this is the cat coder output and here you see that I have got this kind of amazing output, all of the functionalities are working fine and this is actually an industry grade and industry level of coding structure that they are maintaining. And the amazing thing is that with one prompt, with one iteration, they have given this kind of uh, cool UI. And this is completely looking very modern, right? Basically, if I tell you that from Cloud 4 and Cloud uh, 4.5 also, I didn't get uh, this kind of cool uh, modern layout. But from this CAD coder, I have got this kind of uh, layout with one iteration, okay? Now let me show you that how to do the setup. So here you see, uh, this is the link console.streamlake.ai. Basically, I have given the, I have given the link in description. Go there. So after that, uh, you will find your sign up page. So do the sign up with your email, and after that, you will find this kind of uh, interface. Okay. So uh, here you have to click on this create inference endpoint. And when you click on that, after that, you will find this kind of page. And there, just to give the name as the cat coder, description, any of the description you can give. And uh, after that, in this access configuration, select the model as a cat coder. Click on this next and do the submit. And after that, your setup will be completed. Okay. So this is the things you have to do for the setup. And after that, come to this inference here under this model and here you will find this OpenAI SDK okay so in this OpenAI SDK you will find this is the OpenAI compatible endpoint so just copy this endpoint from here okay and after that for every people there is a different API key section so just go to your API key section and on the left hand side and here you see that I have already uh, created my own API key. So you also please create on your uh, your own API key. Just click on this create API key and here uh, keep it as it is and just give any description here. Click on this OK and here you will find your API key. So after that we will do the setup. So for that you can use the client or root code or kilo code. Now I am using this client for now. Uh, just go to your um, client settings and here in this plan and act mode just uh, select this api provider as a open ai compatible now after that the base url this is the base url that i have already shown you go to this inference on the left hand side and uh, click on this api call okay and go to this open ai sdk here and here you see that this is the base url so just copy this one and paste it there okay and otherwise i will give you this base url in the description also so that it will be easy for you to paste it and after that just uh, paste your api key that i have already shown you the process on from the left hand side paste it here and after that this is the model id this is very much important so basically here you see that under this open sdk it is scroll down here you will find this model okay so this is the model id just copy this model id from here and uh, paste it here okay and remember one thing this model id can be different for uh, different different 
people so don't uh, use the other person model id and uh, whatever the model id is present in your account just use that only okay now after that click on this done and do the same thing with the plan and act mode click on this done and here you will find this is the model id selected okay now it is currently completely free uh, to use and um, so let me show you that thing also there you see that cat coder uh, is now live on stream lake and limited time free access only 300 users per day can register to try it for free okay so when multiple users will access this maybe uh, in future they will introduce some pricing plan but currently it is completely free to use unlimited time you can use and here you see uh, the structure or the technology that they have used it is very much amazing advancing code intelligence through scalable agentic uh, reinforcement learning and let me just uh, read this blog and you will find many information from here okay today we are thrilled to announce two groundbreaking model in our cat series cat day 32b and cat coder okay so this is the model cat dev and this is a 32 billion and uh, the setup that i have already shown you this is the cat coder so this cat coder is specifically for the coding purpose okay and uh, also if you want the same kind of reasoning experience then you can use this cat dev 32b okay and specifically they have released this model uh, for the coding purpose so you m may not get the same kind of reasoning experience from this because they have just may publish this model only for the coding purpose okay software engineering representing accessible excellence and ultimate performance in code intelligence and uh, new open source 32 billion parameter model for software engineering tasks and uh, it achieves a comparable performance with 62.4 percent result ranks fifth among all the open source model with different scales and here you see that it is beating this kimi model also and uh, also it is uh, beating this glm 4.5 and uh, i can say it is completely my opinion um i can say that um, the output that i have got from this uh, this gat coder is far better than the glm 4.6 because when I tried the GLM 4.6, the output and the layout and the functionality was not was that not much great. Because why, why I'm saying that with one iteration with one prompt, just listen it carefully. Our model is based when it will give you the best output for the first iteration. Okay. So if you want to get this kind of amazing output from the GLM 4.6, you may require uh, four to five iteration but why will you waste your time right so that's why you should definitely go with that model where you will get the best output so uh, here i i can say that this model is best and what they have written that here you see that uh, it is giving the best performance like the uh, if you could see the difference uh, with the GPT-5 codex, so GPT-5 codex is 74.5% and CAD coder is 73.4 bars. So there is a 1% difference, but that 1% difference can be achieved by uh, doing some one extra iteration, right? But here the advantage is that it is free and open source, right? So this is a meat trading and uh, SFT and RFT and um, supervised fine tuning agentic reinforcement learning scaling exceed efficient learning over non-linear trajectory histories okay all of the things and open source so i think i have just uh, covered all of these things here you see the coding knowledge injection added high quality domain specific coding knowledge means insurance finance and uh, that um, education related things so all of the SAS categories, okay, so all of the categories that is present for a coding purpose, so that all of the domain specific knowledge they have also provided, incorporated large volumes of real pull request data from the Git repositories, collected 30 plus categories of common user instructions and strengthened general domain capabilities are reasoning, right, they have done this in a meet training. 
So we fine tune a pretend model with a two stage process called knee tray. And um, here you see that uh, supervised fine tuning. So eight type of user task like feature implementation. So these are the things we generally do. Feature implementation, feature enhancement, bug fixing, code refactoring, performance optimization, test case generation, code understanding, configure and deployment. This is the actual things in software development. After that, for programming scenario, here you see the application development, UI US engineering, data science, machine learning, database system, infrastructure, specialist programming domain, security engineering. So, this is the structure. You please read this, okay? You will get a lot of ideas that why this model is based. And I can surely say that if you actually try this model, uh, you will get a lot of advantage from this. So, actually, you will also feel that, yes, this model is giving the same performance like the um, Cloud 4 Sonnet or you can say that Cloud 4.5 Sonnet. And also, this is the setup for the cloud code. Here you see that you have to just do the cloud code installation. And after that, uh, you have to just uh, replace your anthropic base level with this. Uh, this is the key setup. So if you want, I, I can surely make another video for the cloud code setup. But for that, you have to just uh, uh, tell me in the comment section that uh, bro, please do the setup for this cloud code and cat coder then i will surely make another video and these are the some uh, examples that they have given that they have made with this model so these are some popular games okay so in their blog actually they have written many things and i think the company name is uh Kue pilot i don't know the what actual programs meant programs uh, so i think it is Kue pilot okay uh, and let me show you the output also. Uh, so if I just place it here and um, here you see that uh, I just given this kind of um, requirement that I want a dashboard here and after that um, this is the output a project management dashboard some grid system and and the thing that I have found helpful is that right hand side we have this quick action so if you click on this create project then you will find one beautiful pop-up and also if you click on this add task here also you will find this beautiful pop-up okay so and also uh, these drop downs are actually working fine and send to message here you see this is cool and industry re uh, industry ready actually ui okay and with two iterations so in the first iteration this pop-up functionality was missing so in second iteration i just asked it that add some functionality in this quick actions uh, for the pop-up okay and it has added that so if i show you that also you will find that here you see add functionality quick actions so with two iteration i have just found this kind of cool ui with all functionality and I am pretty sure that this model will work fine with the backend and database integration also. So please try it and let me know your thought in the comment section. And uh, if you have any confusion, if you are um, facing any difficulty, just let me know in the comment section. I will give you the answer. And uh, another thing is that what they have written, uh, 300 users per day. So just make sure you uh, do the sign up uh, early uh, for the particular day okay uh, currently they are giving the access for free so this much uh, if you found this video helpful don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to like this video also and please don't forget to watch the other videos that i have already published for you guys only see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye please subscribe and like and take care